Hello friends, hello loves, welcome to another Julia Speaks Love video. My name is Julia and I'm so happy that you're here and you're joining me today. You know, there have been a lot of things going on that have been really tragic lately. And, you know, with the passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi, for me on a personal level with the passing recently of my uncle, there has been a lot of heaviness that I've been feeling in the universe. You know, a lot of <sighs> things that can weigh us down and make us feel like, you know what? What's the point of it all? Why are we here? What's going on? What's my purpose? What's my mission? Right? And it can also make us feel depleted of our joy. So what do you do when you feel like you're always sad all the time? Or you feel like, oh, I just cannot shake this feeling off of negativity. Right? No matter what, I still feel this depression, depression feeling. I still feel this sadness. I still feel this anger. I can't get this feeling to go away. Well, today I want to talk about some of the things that have really helped me in the hopes that by sharing it with you, it can really help you. So. The first thing that I have really started to do as I've gone on this journey that I'm still on going on in terms of finding joy, living a positive life, is when I start to feel that I'm in a funk, you know, or I start to feel like I'm really down, or I start to feel this heavy energy, I know that I have to get it out somehow, whether that's meaning I'm writing it out, I'm speaking it out, I'm feeling it out, I'm just getting it out of my body. And that to me is the first kind of like breakthrough thing that I can do to really start to release it and change it, right? So that might mean for you, you take a journal, right? This is my journal, and you start to write in it. And you let yourself just write in it until you're, you know, you can't, you can't write anymore. Or until you feel like you've gotten it out. Or until your hands are hurting and you're tired, right? But you write out as much as you can about what you're feeling. And you get those emotions out there, right? That's the most important thing. I think that when we start to feel like our joy is depleted, it's because... We're holding a lot in and the heaviness of it, the heaviness of holding it in starts to really affect us, you know? And we need an outlet. Everything needs release. Everything needs an outlet. So the first thing to do really for me and hopefully for you is to get it out by writing about it, speaking about it, and allowing yourself to feel the feelings. Sometimes we don't want to sit through feelings, but I saw this quote once that really has stuck with me. And the quote said, don't just do something, sit there. I'm gonna say that one more time. The quote said, don't just do something, sit there. And that's the total opposite, right, of what we've been trained to do, right? It sounds counterintuitive, it feels counterintuitive for us, right? Because what are we told to do all the time? To be booked and busy, right? To be running around, keeping busy, making sure that we're always on the move, right? Because that makes us that whole grind and hustle and that whole struggling through it really makes us in the eyes of other people and through what I think society has taught us seem like worthy, right? Worthy of, of, of all that we have achieved, you know? I also read that a lot of us think that in order to earn what we have in life, we have to struggle. And where does that mindset come from? You know, in order to really feel worthy of your gifts, you have to feel pain. And I think that for a long time, I thought that, you know, I thought that it wasn't enough that I could just feel gratitude or feel joy. I felt like I, 
I had to experience this grueling feeling and work hard and sweat to the bone and all of these things in order to be gifted a reward. Now, that's not to say that there is anything wrong with working hard. Right? When there's something that you find that you are super passionate about and you really want to work on, you work on that, honey, and you let that drive you. But also remember that just the way that you are, you're enough, you're worthy, you're entitled to feel joy. In fact, you were put on this earth. You were put in this universe, honey bun to feel joy. So first things first, get it out, right? If you need to talk about it, talk about it. If you need to speak to someone, speak to someone. If you need to just say it out loud to yourself, oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. Oh my gosh, I'm not feeling good. Oh my gosh, I feel sad. That's the first thing, right? The first thing is to really start to grasp how you're feeling. Let me just pull up my notes here. You know, I mean, because when you're able and you allow yourself to tap into how you feel, you can really start to make a change. So allow yourself to get it out, write it out, speak it out, feel it out, whatever you need to do. Sit with it for a while. You know, you might want to even write yourself a letter about why you're feeling the way you're feeling. And you know, you just put all of that maybe aside for a moment after you write it all out and come back to it. You know, pour it all out in a letter and come back to it, okay? So allow yourself to get it out. Then the second thing is change, <laughs> shift, <laughs> open up, move around your environment, okay? Because when we change our environment, we also change the energy of the situation. You know, yes, it is important to sit with your feelings. Allow yourself to feel how you feel. But once you do that, once you start to release it, once you start to say, okay, this is how I'm feeling. Why am I feeling this way? What's going on with me? What has happened? How am I processing it? Right? When you start to get those things out, now it's time to get up, honey. Now it's time to get up, honey, and start moving your body. Right? Start doing other things. For me, it's going for a walk with my dog. That's something that brings me a lot of joy because whenever I get into nature, I automatically, like this, when I breathe that air in, and I live in New York City, so when I go to the park, it's something that's super healing for me and i really am i really like notice that i am changed by it so figure out for yourself what that means you changing your environment does that mean you go work out does that mean that you uh go see a friend that you haven't seen in a while does that mean that you go to a bookstore so you can look at books does that mean that you go to a coffee shop whatever it is for you that you know dramatically changes your emotions go do that and one thing is like when you change your environment think about an environment that gives you positive energy because when you're in an environment with positive energy you can dramatically change your mood for example, you might want to reach out to other people, right? Like go to a soup kitchen, volunteer your time, go to a shelter, help others, do things where you can give of yourself in a way that really brings you joy, whatever that means to you. Go to an animal shelter, do what you can to make yourself feel better. But it's really important to change your environment. The next thing is move that body right because when we move our body when we move our bodies when we move our bodies we get the juices flowing honey right and when we get the juices flowing we get those positive endorphins flowing we get our minds clear we get the sweat out we can and that means that like we feel better and Moving your body can mean whatever it is that you love to do. For me, 
Lately, I've been getting into yoga, which has really helped me connect with my mind, body, and spirit, and really helped me to work out things that I haven't allowed myself to get deep with, you know? So it's very healing. But I love to dance. So sometimes that might mean you put on your favorite song, honey, and you dance. You dance like no one's watching. You sweat it out. You get that body moving. You do what you need to do. And you will feel so much better. So much better. So get that body moving. Do what you need to do. If you're an exercise queen or king, go to the gym. Do what you need to do. If you like to go for runs, go for a run. If you like to go for hikes, go for a hike. But get that body moving. Get those juices flowing. Get the blood pumping through your veins because that really helps the positive energy levels right because essentially what you're trying to do when you're getting that joy back again is raise your positive energy levels so moving the body gets your momentum going again and allows for you to have peace clarity and make those endorphins flow so you can feel those happy juices <laughs> happy juices and the next thing is Make sure you laugh, right? Because when we laugh, we feel so good. So there are movies that I love to watch that always make me laugh. There are shows that I love to watch that always make me laugh. Do something, watch something, spend your time somewhere, spend your time with someone that makes you laugh or Whatever it is that brings you so much joy, it brings you to laughter, do that thing. And sit with that feeling of laughter until you feel better, right? That can mean revisiting movies from your childhood. I am a big fan, you know, I love to analyze film. So revisiting movies from my childhood, things that really made me smile, that made me feel good, that made me feel positive, that always shifts you know, my mood. Watching cartoons always shifts my mood. Watching shows like Schitt's Creek on Netflix always shifts my mood. So find something that you really know will make you laugh and watch that thing. Get yourself some popcorn, get your favorite snacks, and really get involved in that laughter situation. That will dramatically help you get out of that funk and into that joy, baby. I, I, I love doing that. That's something that really helps me. And then sing your song, right? This throat chakra is a powerful, powerful, powerful chakra. Earlier, I talked about speaking it out, getting it out, doing whatever you need to do to feel those emotions. But then it's also important to sing, right? To, even if you feel yourself go, hmm, ah, when you get those voice muscles going, when you get those sh that chakra, that positive energy here, you know when you say, oh, I feel like I have a lump in my throat, I feel sad, I feel miserable, right? I feel like I have this lump in my throat. You need to exercise this throat chakra, baby, so that you can get that energy flowing and changing, right? So if that means that you take a shower and because your shower has a great acoustics and you sing your heart out, do that. If that means you put on your favorite song and you sing, 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 sing until you can't sing anymore, honey, do that. I remember when I was in college, we took this road trip and because all of us were tired, we didn't want anybody to fall asleep so that we could make sure the driver stayed awake, you know, and everything and everyone was safe. So we put on our favorite song. And at this time, we still had CDs. We put on our favorite song and we just sang at the top of our lungs. And I just remember having so much fun in those moments where I could just sing and nobody was caring who sounds like what. It was about the joy of the situation. So sing, find your joy in song, get it out there, belt it out. Sing that song that always brings you joy and just enjoy it and watch the happiness and the joy flow back into your life. The next one is listen to a guided meditation or a positive audio book. An alternative to this is you can listen to a positive speaker, motivational speaker, someone that you really admire. Let's say Oprah, let's say Les Brown, let's say Tony Robbins, let's say me, 
whomever it is that really inspires you, listen to that. And sometimes when I listen to inspiring people on YouTube, let's say, I listen with my eyes closed and I put my headphones in and I lie back on my bed and I allow myself to just be in that moment. Another thing that's really helpful to get the joy and to get the positivity flowing back into your body is to listen to uh, something that's called shamanic drumming. And shamanic drumming or the shaman drumming is something that's really helpful because it's really just this meditative sound of drums and it's just like drum beatings, drum beatings, drum beatings. And it really takes you into this trance and allows you to free yourself into joy. It allows you to really go inside, deeply inside your subconscious mind and free yourself. So listen to a guided meditation. And it's there's so many free ones, right, on YouTube that you can tap into. But listen to a guided meditation, listen to an audiobook that inspires you, or listen to a motivational speech by someone that inspires you. Watch an inspiring story on YouTube. You know, one thing that I love to do is to look at positive people, people who have changed their lives dramatically and follow their stories and see how they've done it. Because when you watch that, that inspires you that then that you can get through something and really have an amazing, amazing life, right? We are all here to experience life, to experience joy. We are all here to experience joy. Remember that, so surround yourself listen to, what you consume, right? All of that, what you listen to, what you're watching, make sure that it brings you joy, right? Sometimes we don't realize the people that we're following or the content that we're consuming is giving us anxiety, right? Because that's your digital vision board, right? Whoever you follow on Instagram or whoever you follow on Facebook, pictures really influence how you feel so be mindful of what you are consuming right and make sure that what you have is positive and what you follow is positive so that you can feel joy in any medium whether you're watching something on your phone or you're looking at the television or you're listening to something whatever it is make sure that you are consuming positive and joyful content right that will really help with your mood and lastly gratitude always changes that attitude, honey, I'm telling you, right? With this bracelet that I have on that my partner gave me, I look at each of these beads and I try to say one thing I'm grateful for while I hold each one of these beads. And I try to challenge myself to do it three times. But you can also write down five things, 10 things, starting with your breath. If you feel like I have nothing, start with your breath, right? That's what keeps you alive. Start with your heartbeat. Start with things that, you know, are in your body. Your arms, your fingers, your toes, right? And you will find that you have so much in life to be grateful for. Gratitude always changes your attitude and always brings you joy. So, those are some of the things that have really helped me to dramatically shift my feelings when I'm feeling sad or down or depressed to get more joy in my life, to get my joy back again. I wanna thank you so, so much for listening to this video, for watching, for joining this community. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and please share this video with someone that you know would really benefit from watching it. As always, I am sending you my love. This channel is all about how to live a positive life how to live your best life, and how to feel empowered always. I see you, I appreciate you, and I thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Lots of love to you. Good vibes, positivity, and awesomeness.